Welcome to the Wired for Success podcast, your show for ambitious, mission-driven entrepreneurs who want to build million-dollar businesses without sacrificing their health, relationships, or happiness, who understand that in order to build their empire, they need a solid foundation, and that the more they are thriving, the more their business is thriving too. This show brings you the very best from science, self-development, and entrepreneurship to set you up for sustainable success. Hi, I'm Claudia Garbett, the scientist turned mindset and high performance coach for entrepreneurs, and I help you get wired for success. Hey, everyone, and welcome back to another short and sweet episode of the Wired for Success podcast, where we talk about all things science, self-development and entrepreneurship that help you get to that next level of success in your life and business. And what I wanted to talk about today is something that I know my driven overachievers and productivity junkies out there have trouble with. And that is relaxing into flow. Now, I totally get it. I used to be the person in yoga class who would just look around and compare myself to others and then try to be at least as flexible and strong as the people around me, even if it hurt. And I hated the shavasana relaxation in the end because it felt like such a waste of time to just lie around on the floor doing nothing. Little did I know that this part is crucial and it helps the mind and body to calm down and it helps your brain to integrate what you just practiced. My belief system was so centered around hard work as the thing that leads to big success that it simply felt wrong to accept things that came easily to me or that didn't require any effort. I would actually go so far to say that if I had to choose between an easy and a hard way of doing something, I would choose the hard one because it felt like success had to be earned with blood, sweat, and tears. And it was only valuable because of the sacrifices you made to get there. It felt like if it's not challenging to get, it's not worth keeping. So maybe that sounds familiar because I see that belief system in a lot of high achievers. We have been rewarded for hard work and persistence all our lives and we are afraid to lose momentum or lose our edge or competitive advantage when we slow down and take a break. The thing is that rushing from one thing to the next, chasing milestone after milestone can become a slippery slope that leads you straight to burnout. If you're like me, you find it easier to push yourself and to actively pursue your goals than to surrender and let things flow naturally. You might feel that inner resistance toward taking breaks or vacations or any kind of rest in general because it makes you feel lazy and unproductive. You want to maximize what you can get done. And I totally get that. I'm an optimizer too. But I've said it before and I'll say it again. There's a big difference between believing that you can do hard things and believing that everything has to be hard. I know that I have a tendency toward wanting to control outcomes, and I sometimes find it hard to detach and let go. It's something that I have to practice on a daily basis, which is why I've started to incorporate those small breaks throughout the day where I focus on noticing any tension in my body and then on releasing that tension. Because when tension has become your default state, you don't notice it anymore, and you have to get back to noticing it so that you can release it. So that's what I do a couple of times each day, not always, but most days, and it has really made a big difference for me. So maybe you want to give it a try and see what it can do for you. And I know it sounds weird, but a lot of us high achievers have to learn to relax again. It's not our default mode anymore, and it feels weird and wrong and annoying in the beginning. But just like everything else that you practice, it becomes easier, it becomes familiar, and it becomes more enjoyable. And the funny thing is that when you relax and let go, things actually start to flow. What I've noticed through experimenting with this is that things don't start to fall apart. They start to work with more ease and flow. And it's a lot more fun too. Just to be clear, I'm not saying drop everything you're doing and don't do any work and things will just magically work out for you. That's not what I'm saying, but I think the magic lies in the balance of intentional work and surrender, focusing on the process and detaching from the outcome. Because if you enjoy the process, the outcome 
becomes secondary. In a way, the way becomes the goal. And if you just pursue the goal and you don't enjoy the process, what's the point anyway? You'll be miserable most of the time. And what for? Just so that you can make more money to buy a bigger car or a bigger house or to keep up with the Joneses? You will find that pursuing those things will only make you happy for a very short period of time before you're back on the hedonic treadmill chasing the next thing you hope will finally make you happy once and for all. The thing is, happiness is not a destination. I think happiness might be both a choice and a skill that you can get better at. You can learn to flex your happiness muscle, if you like. And learning to relax into flow is one of the things that can help you with that because it allows you to experience happiness in the here and now, not in the distant future, not as the price that you have to earn through hard work, but as a mental and physical state that you can learn to access with practice. Does that make sense? If you have any questions, just let me know. That's it for today. Um, take care and talk to you soon. Bye. Thank you so much for listening to the Wired for Success podcast. I hope you've enjoyed this episode. If you did, please take a sec to rate and review my show or share it with a friend. That way you can support the show and help me reach and support other entrepreneurs like yourself as well. If you would like my help to figure out how you can go from overwhelmed and overworked hustler to empowered and confident leader, check out my website at www dot wired for success dot solutions and book a free 20 minute strategy session with me can't wait to help you get wired for success until next time take care bye